Complete this task, and return here safely, and I will name you both True Masters. <gasps> Look out! <laughs> you can leave this one to me. Hmm? Yes! Ha. <laughs> Take this! Just stop it! You treat people's hearts like bottles on a shelf. But they're not! <gasps> Are you? Be gone! The roll collapsed when the clock advanced. If only I made it in time. Not even memories. They're safe from the darkness. One more night beneath the stars, with my best friends. <sighs> I'm doing it again. Aqua. <laughs> this world is full of light. What? Did you expect the traitor to give themselves up with that accusation of yours? That was foolish. I said, that's quite enough. Hey, maybe talking about the book will cheer you up. Not a chance. Darkness will prevail, and the light expire. Each of our copies were said to contain the events of the future. But this incident, well, it's nowhere to be found. You can barely stay on your feet! Just give up already! Why? Why did it have to come to this? Isn't it our duty as Keyblade wielders to prevent this war from taking place? Not, not possible. We need to defy the Master's teachings to protect the world! You're saying he was wrong? When the time comes, and there is war, you mustn't fight, but instead you must fly away from here to the world outside! HD 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue, our E3 trailer. I'm Brendan Doherty, Product Manager at Square Enix, and I am honored and privileged today to be here with the co-director of the Kingdom Hearts franchise, Taya Suik. Hi, everyone. Yay. <laughs> Got a great audience out here today. Um, I think these people all know what Kingdom Hearts is, but for those that don't, Kingdom Hearts is pretty easy to understand. It is a action RPG. It is a story of friendship and the light battling the powers of darkness. And we have the latest chapter, 2.8, coming out this December, 2016, on the Sony PlayStation 4. So, got three questions for you today. And those questions are, what is Kingdom Hearts 2.8, mm -hmm. final chapter mm -hmm. prologue? Why on earth is it named that? And what's going on with three? Where's three? Yeah, that's a lot, a lot of questions. I'll, I'll be happy to answer them one at a time. Um, I guess, first of all, Kingdom Hearts uh, 2.8, um, it is, I guess, totally different. A newly packaged title that is totally different from Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 and 2.5. Um, and it includes uh, three uh, Kingdom Hearts experiences in one package. Um, Kingdom Hearts 2.8 includes a game, mm -hmm. 
and a movie, and I guess it's really a glimpse of the future. So a game, a movie, and a glimpse of the future. That's right, yeah. Um, first of all, I guess the game part, that's easy. Uh, there's Dream Drop Distance. Um, see over here, Dream Drop Distance, that's right. Uh, <laughs> um, it's, the, it's, it's, it's an HD remaster of the 3DS game um, coming out. Um, it's the first time on the PS4 console. Um, and this will, I guess, really complete the uh, HD remastering of the whole series, and it will be available on the PS4. Um, the other two chapters, uh, the movie and the glimpse of the future, they're totally brand new. Um, the storyline, these are something that we've never shown before, and they're t entirely uh, new content. So completely different, all new stuff, mm -hmm. not 2.5, mm -hmm. a little bit more, it's mm -hmm. a brand new package. That's right, a brand new package. Okay. Um, that's right, and um, I guess um, this will really take uh, the story forward. Um, it'll introduce uh, character settings, set up the characters, um, reveal secrets, and I think it'll really enrich uh, the Kingdom Hearts universe more. Hmm. Okay. Now, walk me through the title. Mm -hmm. what, is it, what does it mean? A lot of words in that title. What's mm -hmm. going on? Okay, well, the title itself, I guess that is a question I get a lot. Uh, first of all, Kingdom Hearts HD. That's pretty easy. Um, HD comes from... <laughs> That comes um, from Prologue. Prologue, yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's the difficult one, right? Um, I guess for there is uh, two new installments actually for this title that are brand new. Um, the back cover, this one right over here, and the 0 0.2, and um, these two. And including these two, there's been, I guess, 10 uh, Kingdom Hearts uh, titles um, since uh, 2002. And they sort of encompass the sort of prologue of the Dark Seeker saga. Mm. Um, and the Dark Seeker saga sort of concludes um, at Kingdom Hearts 3, right? So, um, in a way, Kingdom Hearts 2.8 is the final chapter of that prologue, and this will be concluding Kingdom Hearts 3. And I'm not saying it's the end of the Kingdom Hearts series at all, it's okay, just the yeah, end of the yeah. Kingdom <laughs> Dark Seeker saga, um, with uh, Xehanort as the main antagonist. Okay. And then, speaking of Kingdom Hearts 3, mm -hmm. what's going on? We saw some last mm -hmm. year, this year we have 2.8. Mm -hmm. um, where is Kingdom Hearts 3? Is 2.8 delaying it? Mm -hmm. um, what's going on? Well, actually, um, it's not delaying it, delayed at all, actually. Um, we <laughs> uh, we're really uh, developing it at the same time. And we th really thought about um, how we want the order of the games to go. Um, and well, I guess when we were first coming up with ideas for Kingdom Hearts 3, uh, we really had three main goals we wanted to achieve. Uh, for the series, and so uh, we wanted, first of all, to make all the titles available on uh, HD. We wanted it to be upgraded to HD graphics, and so we remastered the whole series. Um, the second, uh, we really wanted to, uh, I guess, um, pull and push the Kingdom Hearts, 3, uh, Kingdom Hearts series into the future with new lighting, for example, and sort of a new look and a new feel to the game. And thirdly, we really wanted to pursue mobile gaming. And this is, this is one of the areas where uh, um, we didn't want the game to be a, it to be a separate entity. We really wanted it to link to the Kingdom Hearts over our uh, story in a cohesive way. And that was very important to us. And um, I think we're been, we've been doing this uh, with uh, Unchained Key. Um, this has, uh, this, yeah, this is, this is very important. So, and in 2.8, uh, 2.8 sort of uh, tells the story of uh, Unchained Key, the backstory in a cinematic fashion. And so I guess these three goals um, we really wanted to attain by, and we really wanted to plan this title to mm. sort of fit those goals. And we always wanted to make 2.8 to come right before Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, that's right. And so I guess, yeah, I get a lot of uh, <laughs> opinions saying that they, people want information for Kingdom Hearts 3 at the C3. And I, un I understand that. I totally understand that. Um, and, um, but I guess, in a way, 2.8 is coming out this December. Um, yeah, this December. Uh, so we really wanted to concentrate on getting the message across for 2.8. Um, that was really important. And so, um, yeah, and I, we're really excited about Kingdom Hearts 3 as well. I'm, I'm sure everyone else is as well. But I think it's also, a, I guess, a tricky balance because we really, when we're, we're giving out information, we want it, it to really exceed um, our fans' expectations. And for us, the fans are everything. For us, mm. you guys are. 
<laughs> you guys are the best, I think. Yeah. <laughs> you are the most supportive and warm, uh, passionate fans in the gaming in industry, period. And you are very important to us. Um, a huge motivator for me. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, we love you guys. I mean, <laughs> so you guys are really wonderful. Great. Yeah. Okay. Well, you said a glimpse of the future. Mm. Let's let's see a little bit of that. What's going on with 0.2 Birth by Sleep? Okay, so for 0.2, um, this is really something that, well, it's sort of, I guess, the prologue of Kingdom Hearts 3, the look and everything. Um, we have Aqua uh, entrapped in a dark this world. This is the Keyblade Master That's Aqua right. from yeah. Birth by Sleep. That's right. Okay. So it's sort of a continuation of the story in of Birth by Sleep. And uh, we used Unreal Engine. We sort of customized Unreal Engine 4 to make it look well, Kingdom Hearts-like and look really real and, I guess, delicate um, at the same time. And so we, use, we are working on that right now. Mm. And what about, like, gameplay-wise? Mm. How is uh, 0.2, what, what are we going to see in terms of mm. gameplay for it? Gameplay, I guess uh, we really wanted her to, uh, well, she's trapped in this dark world, right? Um, and we really wanted uh, the players to experience her pain and sorrow because uh, she's really lonely and tormented. Um, and so we sort of wanted her to feel that way and the, youth, that are the players to actually feel for her. Um, that was very important. Um, as a gameplay gimmick, we really have the environments working against her. There's a lot of traps, for example, and there's a lot of puzzles to be solved. And also, we're going to have a lot of new Heartless. And I guess uh, the demo show a horde of Heartless um, that becomes like a tower. Um, and so they sort of coordinate, move um, in like huge waves. And this is just a weak one, actually. In, um, as you go along, there's a even stronger wave that's going to come along. Even um, more so. heartless than that tower. <laughs> that's right. So okay. there's that. Um, as for the system, um, as for the system, um, we sort of wanted uh, a lot of the moves that aqua. originally came from Kingdom Hearts: Birth by Sleep because it was Aqua, a lot of magical spells. Um, but we really wanted to enhance that to the next level. Um, so you have to have her using, for example, magical spells by using well, Blizzard, for example. This makes uh, ice on the floor, for example, on the ground, and you can slide on it. So these are things that are sort of enhancing uh, the experience. Um, also, the shot lock system, the style change, these are some of the things that come from Birth by Sleep. Now, but, you mentioned uh, Unreal Engine 4. Mm -hmm. What was it like switching the Kingdom Hearts franchise over onto that mm -hmm. system? There was, I guess, a learning curve for our whole team. Um, we're actually um, we're a big team right now, a lot of people, and we're, uh, we actually are learning and customizing the engine. But we're doing that well now, and this, I think, was a good, very good experience to do that. Um, for us, um, the important part of uh, using next uh, generation, well, I guess, uh, technology is is be being true to the Kingdom Hearts series, but also really taking it forward. Um, so, um, a lot of the expressions in the Kingdom Hearts series are uh, stylized. Uh, the magical spells, for example, we really wanted to keep that, so we sort of arranged the uh, engine to move that way. Um, but at the same time, you see a lot of realistic lighting, um, puddles, for example, that look real, real, and I think that really makes it look gorgeous. And that's, those are things that we really want to pursue as well. And now we're seeing that used also in the movie, mm -hmm. that cover, mm -hmm. the Unreal. So let's, let's talk about that one a little bit. Mm -hmm. So uh, Kingdom Hearts, key, back cover mm -hmm. key. Um, this is the movie mm -hmm. included, and this takes us where in the series uh, timeline? Timeline, actually, this goes really way back. And this is, I guess, the history of uh, Kingdom Hearts. Um, it really depicts a lot of history. Um, it includes the foretellers. I'm sure a lot of you know there's the foretellers and what they did. And it sort of complements the story in Unchained Key. Um, so this is the foretellers from the mobile title. That's, that's right, yeah. It's sort of linked to the mobile title. And so um, behind the scenes, behind Unchained Key, the foretellers had a lot of conflict, for example. And so it really depicts a lot of human drama between all these different characters and explains why a lot of the things happened afterwards in the Kingdom Hearts series. For example, the Keyblade War, for example. And so I think. And what's so important about the Keyblade War? Well, the Keyblade War, I think it's a lot. It gets depicted a lot um, in Birth by Sleep, for example, as a place where well, the last battle took place. Um, and I think um, Blood almost sucked up all the worlds in darkness. So it's a very important uh, thing. So um, we sort of wanted to really complement um, the story for that uh, mobile um, title. Also, I guess I would like to add that um, Unchained Kid is made uh, using Unreal Engine 4 as well as 0.2. Um, so it looks really beautiful, um, a totally new look. And I think the users or players will get a peek of what's to come. Uh, the cutscenes were sort of going to be looking like this. Um, 
maybe so definitely about looking forward mm. to that. And speaking of things to come, I have a uh, special guest, the producer, Okayama-san, of the Unchained Key mobile title, and he has a little announcement for us. This incident, it's nowhere to be found. Okay, I'm a on producer, uh, producer on Kingdom Hearts and Chain to Key. Eh, ここから日本語でちょっと失礼したい。はい。えー、会場の皆さん、あのキングダム発アンチェインドキーをプレイしている人。So all of you out there, how many of you play Unchained Key? おお。えー。キングダムハーツアンチェインドキーは今日本と、えー、北米で展開させていただいているんですけれども。So all of us know that Unchained Key is currently、uh, released in Japan as well as North America. 今日は、えー、ちょっと嬉しいニュースを持ってまいりました。And I have brought some good, <laughs> great news for you guys today. <laughs> はい、えー。すいません、会場の皆さん。えー、ヨーロッパの皆さんですね。ヨーロッパの皆さん、大変お待たせしました。And so, sorry, this is news for our European fans, but we've kept you waiting for quite a long time now. はい。えー、今からだいたい約7時間半後ですね。北米の24時。えー、ヨーロッパ含む100の国と地域で。キングダムハーツアンチェインのキーが無料でダウンロードできるようになります。So approximately seven and a half hours later,、uh, which is、uh, midnight our time,、uh, this game will be available for free、um, to download、um, in Europe, in addition to about a hundred countries total、uh, worldwide, countries and regions worldwide. はい、えー、まあすでに今バックカバーで、ね、キーのがバックカバーで野生から説明している通り、えー、バックカバーに出てくる、えー、予知者から集められたキーブルエド使いになってですね、えー、物語をこう進めていくようなゲームが。So,、uh, you'll progress through the story of Unchained Key as the key blade wielders、uh, who have been called upon by the foretellers.、Um, that、uh, also Yasuo san had talked about、uh, earlier、um, when explaining back cover、um, that will be included in 2.8.、Um, and so, that's the overall kind of overarching story for Unchained Key. 2.8 を楽しみにしている皆さん。そしてまだですね会場でも手を挙げてなかった人がいたんで、キングダムハーツアンチェインのキーを、えー、まだ体験してない皆さん、えー、これを機にですねキングダムハーツアンチェインのキーを遊んでいただいて、えー、ぜひ 2.8 に備えていただければと思います。<笑> And so, for those of you who are looking forward to 2.8, and for those of you who have yet to play Unchained Key, we would love for you guys to play Unchained Key to get ready for 2.8、um, and you know, enjoy the story. えー、でこの100の国と地域で、えー、公開される、えー、ことを記念してですねそして 2.8 のですね、えー、発売日発表発売月発表を記念しまして、はいえー、今日の、えー、PDT で24時からなんと 2.8 にも登場する、えー、アクアのメダルが And so, to commemorate、um, releasing this game in 100 countries and regions worldwide, and also kind of announcing the release window for 2.8, today at midnight PDT, will we be gifting all of you an Aqua Medal? Yeah! Yes, I will be gifting all of you an Aqua Medal. Yes, I will be gifting all of you an Aqua Medal. はい。And so now I have to get prepared、uh, to release.
these items. And so uh, I will go back to the office <laughs> and get ready for that. So thank you so much for having me here today. Thank you, Okarama san. And when everyone gets their aqua medal, please change out your Donald medal. Make sure you have your powerful medals. Friends, don't let friends keep the default Donald medal in there. Help your fellow union members out. Okay, so we've, we've talked about the new stuff. We've talked about the, the mobile game and the connection to the movie. Um, we still have another game to talk about. That's right, now on the console. And um, D, uh, DDD, I guess it's called now, three, uh, Dream Drop Distance, is a 3DS title. So we really changed the game mechanics, the game design to sort of fit uh, for the PS4. Um, for example, the uh, Dream Eaters, uh, the mini games for the Dream Eaters, um, it really utilizes the dual screen and the touch screen. So we really changed the mini games, we re planned it out for it to fit on the PS4 controllers. Are we going to see any new Dream Eaters? Uh, most definitely. There's going to be. Uh, uh, raccoon dog sort of <laughs> <laughs> character, a funky little funny looking guy, and we'll also have uh, new other Dream Eaters that are, will be uh, introduced in the game. And so what was it like taking a handheld title and then porting it over to a next-gen system? What sort of challenges or opportunities did that present you? Okay, well, I guess uh, game design-wise, there's a lot to do because we really want to retweak the game. Um, we had a lot, we wanted a lot of players to be uh, able to play the game uh, easily on the PS4 controller and beat their enemies in a fun way. So, um, so that was that. And uh, I guess for the PS4, I think we're going to have players playing for a longer, longer time compared to the 3DS. So the drop times, for example, we sort of changed that. Um, also, <laughs> also, I guess uh, the artists really uh, recreated uh, a lot of the models, the uh, characters, the maps, the UIs, the effects. And I think we put more effort this time than any other Kingdom Hearts uh, mastered before. Um, and one point that we, I really have to make also is that it's becoming first time. For the first time, it moves in 60 frames per second. So the movements, yeah. yay. Audience <laughs> likes that, 60 frames a second. Yeah, so I guess that is another point, And it really moves in a smooth way. So I guess that's something I'd like to, yeah, talk about. Yasuo it sounds like a fantastic package. We're about out of time. Thank you so much for walking us through Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue. It's really been a pleasure talking to you and talking to all the fans today. Um, it was great for me, very exciting. And I hope uh, you got a good picture of what's to come. Um, Europeans, don't forget to uh, download uh, the Unchained Key version. Um, on the mobile Unchained Key available on iOS and Android, and I hope you really look forward to Kingdom Hearts 2.8 that's coming out in December. Yeah. Yay! All right, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you.